Hello, I'm Lisa Martin and I'm with Pampered Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I want to show you the bread that we just made. You'll have to look up my video, but we made the bread for the week. And if you take a slice or a half a slice, when it first comes out of the oven and it's warm, oh, it's so good. And you put some butter on it, some real butter. Mmm. You cannot tell that that is not regular bread. That is keto. And it tastes so good. And it doesn't have all the sugar and preservatives in it. If you look up bread, it's basically flour, yeast, and sugar. Which flour turns into sugar. This has almond flour, but it is so good. It smells so good in my kitchen. I wish you could smell how good it is. Um, so what I'm doing now is I am preparing a chicken dish. Let me finish my bread, excuse me. Mmm. That is awesome. Tomorrow my daughter is coming and we're having a chicken, creamy chicken casserole. So, I've heard a lot of people say, well, my whole family's not keto, how do I do it? Well, I'm the only one in the house that eats keto. Now, my, I can get my mother to eat some of it. But I'm the only one that really is the keto person. So I have to allow, there's other people that have to eat around here, and I have to allow for them too. And she don't mind keto, but I figure when she comes over, then I, I do it special for her. So what I'm doing though today is I have taken chick, some cans of chicken and put them in one of our mixing bowls like I showed you before. These are our three, the large one, this is the, I think, the medium sized one, okay? And all I did was buy some of those, a whole packet, Sam's, of chicken, and you just pour them in with the juice and everything. I'll give you the recipe down below, but I'm going to use this wonderful, awesome can opener. This right here is the awesome, it's the best. Um, I really love it. It has been around for a long time and it still works like brand new. So um, get yourself one of these good can openers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. So I'm going to have you look down at You can see. And what you do is you push this button in at the side. And you just push that in as you're putting it. You put it this way down, not sideways like we're normal, like we're used to. And what you do is you go around. And it just takes a little bit of muscle. I have an electric one, but I gave it away. And when the can opener stops, then you know that you have gone all the way around. Okay, you heard it stop. So what you do is you take this thing right here, this bar, and you turn it backwards one time so you can get off. And then you see these two little things here. What you're gonna do is you're going to take that and pull the top off. This top actually came right off. But you don't have to worry about getting cut. There's no raw edges. There's no um, sharp edges. It's all, you know. And I've seen some people, what they do is they wash these cans out and then they glue, hot glue, the lid. they put a gift in there. And for Easter or birthdays, they put a gift in here and they put the hot glue back on, on the top and then they have to have the can opener to open it so it's kind of neat I think but anyways that's that and that's an awesome can opener I'll put the number down below so you'll have it you can get on my website on Pampered Chef and get them um, I think they're $23 these are my utility scissors that I bought probably 10 years ago they still have them that's how good they are and these still work fine but what's good is if you have children that it has this protective plastic that goes on top of it and it has a lock at the bottom. They can't open them. If they get this off, they've got to figure out how to undo it. So if they get that off, then it opens them. And so that's a good way. But I use this for everything. It is amazing. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to make this chicken dish. And then when I get finished, after I get finished with it, I'm going to show you how that I'm going to grind up the... Um, Ritz crackers that go on top of them. The Ritz crackers go on top of it. Well, I'm going to use pork rinds. This right here is the best deal going. <laughs> you go to Sam's and this is $5 and some change for this big pork rind. It was full. 
and I have been making all kinds of stuff with it. You can use it for um, to put on top of things. You can use it for breading. You can use it all kinds of stuff. So this is really a good deal. Go to Sam's and get you one, and um, you can eat them too. They're great for a snack, and then you make your own. I make my own dip and dip them, but they're great if you really want something salty and you really can't have, you know. Um, but these are great too. Like I say, you can use them as breading. Uh, just all kinds of things, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these in place of, I'm going to make two different casserole dishes, and as you can see, I've got them buttered. This is our stone, and, uh, well, actually, it's a baker stone, but it's one of our, our stones, and I love it, and I'm going to make part of the casserole in this dish and part of it there, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to grind up the, the top with this, okay? I hope that was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. Please get me some subscribers. I need some sus subscribers. Um, that way, whenever I put out a video, that will help you and me so that you know I've got a new video out and um, to look at it. Share it, like it, and have a great day.